What's up everybody, it's Chad back again with Stokes Honda North. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the navigation system on the new 2018 Honda Odyssey EXL with nav and rear entertainment. Again, they do have a lot more options on your Touring and Touring Elite, but today we got the EXL, so we're going to take a look at that real quickly here. So uh, what I wanted to show you today on this quick video is what all you can do with music inside your Honda Odyssey, which, you know, music makes life a little more fun, doesn't it? We love listening to it while we ride down the road, and uh, what better ways to have a few different options to be able to get music into this car other than just listening to AM, FM radio. But I will show you some of this stuff. So anyways, when we get in the car, you know, there's a couple different things you got going on here. First off, right down here, if you can see this, well, I'm looking for it, hang on. Where is our USB and auxiliaries, right? Again, um, just bear with me for a second, there we go. As you can see right down here, you got an auxiliary port right there. Okay, we're going to zoom in, take a look. You have an auxiliary there, and then over here we have a USB port at a 2.5 volt. Okay, so um, there's your USB, there's your auxiliary. <laughs> kind of sounds good, don't it? Now, is there a SD card slot? We have a Blu ray DVD player right there. You have another 12 volt. You do have a 115 volt, 150 watt outlet here, which is great to be able to um, plug things in like you have at your house, except for you just don't have that little center plug in right there. But that's still pretty good. Um, let's see if there is a SD card slot. And again, I do not think Honda has added an SD card slot. And there is no SD card slot, folks. Just want to let you know that. Okay. So, anyways, once you plug in a device or however you have that set up or a USB thumb drive, and you got your music in there uh, you can come over here to your navigation system and let's scroll down over USB right click that no device connected connect a compatible USB device into your vehicle to use this feature so that's how you can drag over pictures and that's how you can drag over music into the system by doing that let's see if there's any other options on that kind of thing cabin talk my honda music okay click on that one and something similar is going to pop up no music files were found in my honda music connect a compatible usb device to import files okay so once again um that's all you got to do you got to plug your usb thumb drive device right there or however that is you know plug it in and import your music files and your pictures and things right into the vehicle just that simple of course as always you have fm am radio in the honda odyssey okay that's definitely going to be a, um, a standard feature on just about every vehicle in the united states of america fm uh let's see what the difference is fm okay that's these are hd channels as you can see the logo hd right there so that's hd radio stations which supposedly is a better signal a better quality sound music with hd and then just regular fm radio and then you can see right here apple carplay okay that's another way to import things into the vehicle is by using apple carplay and does it have android auto of course it has android auto android comes up first apple carplay comes up second so that's two more ways to connect your device into the vehicle if you don't have a super cool smartphone like this stuff right here just do it the old school way and plug into the USB port now here's a question all of y'all or some of y'all may ask where is the CD player okay I still have CDs at my house and they're in that huge CD case and I just throw it up on the dash and <laughs> right okay yeah all right whatever dude let me tell you something first folks a lot of us may still have CDs but let me tell you I've been saying it since back in 2009 car manufacturers are going to get rid of CD players they've gotten rid of the CD player. It's gone, it's not here. There's no point in having a CD player in the car anymore. It's 2017, folks. It's time to have music on our devices. Okay, so that's about it. Um, if there's any more music ways to import music into the vehicle, please let me know. The only thing I can think of else is the Bluetooth right there. You see that little button? Bluetooth audio. You possibly could stream music through your device by using Bluetooth, like Pandora Radio or, or something like that. Can you play YouTube videos on the screen in here is one of the questions I've had somebody ask. Not that I know of, okay? Maybe if you hook the Wi-Fi up in the car, we have done that before. And um, 
and you can pull up on here Google and pull up YouTube and watch that. So you technically can watch YouTube videos from your Honda, but you can only do that while sitting in park right here, here at your house in the parking lot at a car show, at a dealership, whatever. You can do it like that. You can't watch YouTube videos while driving down the road, okay? Just safety first, as always. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I covered a few things for some of y'all, and let me know in the comments if there's anything else uh, I need to cover in future videos when we get a Touring or a Touring Elite. Thank you.